There's a plan A, plan B, plan C, and plan D, and basically it will make sure that the water coming into your house is safe for you and your family to drink. Last October, we were notified by the Virginia Department of Health that there was a potentially harmful chemical that was found in the White Oak Swamp. As soon as we found out, um, we, you know, we, we, got to, we got to work and our staff pulled together as much information as they could. We had a community meeting at Seven Pines Elementary School. From the beginning, it's been important to us to make sure that we are informing our residents. We care about them. We care about the water they drink. Um, the whales that they use. And so, you know, we jumped on and did the best that we could to get as much information out as possible. Immediately after we heard from uh, VDH in late October that there was a situation, uh, we moved very, very quickly uh, to protect the health and welfare of our community. Of the uh, 259 uh, samples that we collected and tested, uh, 229 uh, showed uh, uh, no, uh, no detection of the PFAS compounds. However, there were 30 that uh, showed some detection and we are working closely with those homeowners uh, right now. 28 of those 30 are uh, below the, uh, the EPA recommended threshold of 70 parts per trillion. We recognize that this will be an ongoing issue. Uh, so we've set up um, a short-term, near-term, and long-term plans. And ultimately, uh, we are looking to uh, provide water and wastewater infrastructure uh, to the entire county. This is what we do. You know, this is what we call the Henrico Way. It is attentive, focus, and care on the people who live here. And we want it to be a place where people want to live, work, and play. And, um, it, it also is important as it relates to environmental safety and standards. And so the Henrico Way covers, covers the whole gamut. You get on top of it, you find a problem, you take care of it. And hopefully that's what we're doing with this.